And he would ask the food bill like Christmas a lot, but the Grinch who lived just north of food bills enough. The Grinch hated Christmas, the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why, no one quite knows the reason. It could be perhaps that his shoes were too tight. It could be perhaps that his, his head wasn't screwed on just right. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. But whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve, hating the news, staring down from his cave with a sour, grinchy frown at a warm lighted window as below in their town. For he knew in every who down in Whoville beneath was busy now hanging a Hollywood wreath. And they're hanging their stockings. He snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow, Christmas is practically here. And he growled with his grinch fingers nervously drumming. I must find some way to keep Christmas from coming. But tomorrow I tell all the cool girls and boys who ain't bright in their own, they'll bust from their toys. And then, over the noise, over the noise, 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 there's one thing I hate. All the noise, 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 noise. In the middle of streets, on beats and spills, racing round on the roofs, who dance with jeans and wears tight onto their fists. They'll blow their foos hoopers, they'll make their tartupas. They'll blow their moon hoopers, they'll make their gardukas. They'll spin their truck tubas, they'll slam their sluice bumpas. They'll beat their bum loopas, they'll wham, they'll wham their wow wampas. And they'll play noisy games like you did at Parse. A roller skate type of lacrosse and croquet. And they'll make you splitting noises, the loops on the great big electro volcano loops. Then the who's young and old will sit down to a feast. And they'll feast, and they'll feast, and they'll feast, 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 feast. They'll feast on who pudding and rare who roast beast. Raw roast beast is a feast that can't stand in the way. And then they'll do something I hate most of all. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, will stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They'll stand hand in hand, and those who will start singing. Just what to do. 
The Grinch laughed in his throat. Oh, man, quit saying he was hat and a coat. And he chuckled and clucked. What a great Grinchy trick! With this coat and this hat, I will just like Saint Nick. <laughs> oh, I knew it The Grinch looked around. But since reindeer are scarce, there was none to be found. Did that stop the Grinch? Ha! Huh. The Grinch simply said, I can't find a reindeer. I'll be one instead. So he took his dog Max and he took some black thread and he tied a big horn on top of his head. Then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshackle sleigh and he whistled for Max. Then the Grinch said, Get out! And the sleigh started down toward the home where the sleighs lived in their town. All their windows were dark, no one knew he was there. All the moon were all baby sweet dreams without him. When he came to the first little house of the square, this stop number one! The old Grinchy Claus hissed as he climbed to the roof, empty bags in his fist. He, he slid down the chimney a rather tight tin, but a Santa can do it then looks like the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a minute or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace blue, where the little who stockings hung all in a row. These stockings, he grinned, are the first days to go. And he slithered and swung with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room, and he took every present. Popcorns, pamplugas, pantugas and drums, checkerboards, bazobics, popcorns and plums. And he stuffed them in bags, and the Grinch very nimbly stuffed all the bags one by one up the chimney. He turned around fast and he saw a small moon. 
Little Sticky Blue Who, who was no more than two. She stared at the bridge and said, Fancy Boss, why? Why do you think you're a fancy fly? But you know that old Grinch was so smart and so slick, he thought up a lie and he thought it up quick. What my sweet little The face seemed to Claus lie. Well, it fooled the child. Then he patted her head, and he got her a drink, and he sent her to bed. And when Cindy Lou was in bed with her cup, he crept to the chimney and stuffed the tree up. Then he went up the chimney, himself the old liar, and the last thing he took was the log for their fire. On their walls he left nothing but some hooks and some wire. And one speck of food that he left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. Then he did the same thing to the other who's not houses, leaving crumbs too much small for the other who's mouses. It was quarter of dawn, all the who's still a bed, all the who's still a snooze when he packed up his sled, packed up with their presents, their ribbons, their wrapping, their snoop and their whistlers, their tremblers and traps. Ten thousand feet up, up the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode with his load to the tip top to dump it. He was grinchly humming. Finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two. Then who's down in Whoville will all cry. Boo-hoo! That's annoying. Grinned the Grinch. I simply must hear it. He paused and put a hand to his ear. And he did hear a sound running over the snow. It started in low, then it started to grow. Oh, <laughs> 